When I was a young man, I carried my pack, and I lived the free life of a rover. From the merry screen by sun to the dusty outback, I waltzed my Matilda all over. But in nineteen fifteen, my country said, "Son, it's time to stop rumbling. There's work to be done." They gave me a tin hand, and they gave me a gun, and they sent me away to the war. And the band played waltzing Matilda. As a ship pulled away from the quay, and amidst all the tears, flag waving and cheers, we sailed off for Gallipoli. How? Remember that terrible day when our blood stained the sand and the water, or how in the hell that they called Sula Bay we were butchered like lambs. At the slaughter, Johnny turned. He was ready. I he primed himself well. He ran down with bullets, shot us with shell, and if I. And it's flat. We were all blown to hell. Nearly blew us back home to Australia. <coughs> But the band played waltzing Matilda. As we storm to bury our slain, and we bury down, and the Turks bury them, and we start it all over again. Those who were living just tried to survive in this mad world of blood, death, and fire. <clears throat> and for ten weary weeks, I kept myself. While around me the corpses piled higher, then a big Turkish shell lined me up so hard, and when I woke up in my hospital bed. I saw what it had done. 
And I wished I was dead Never knew there Were worse things than dying For I'll go no more Waltzing Matilda All around the green bush far and free For the hunting and pegs A man needs both legs No more waltzing Matilda for me They collected the wounded, the crippled, the maimed, and they shipped us back home to Australia. The armless, the legless, the blindly insane. Those proud heroes wounded at Suva. And last our ship pulled in the circular key. I looked at the place where my legs used to be. I think Christ, there was no one there waiting for me to grieve, to mourn, or to pity. And the band played waltzing Matilda. As they carried us down the gangway But nobody cheered They just stood there and stared When they all turned their faces away So now every April I sit on my porch And I watch the parade pass before me I see my old comrades How proudly Renewing dreams of past glory And I see men Of tired steam and sun A weary hero of a fall And the young people ask, what are they marching for? And I ask myself the same question. And the band played waltzing Matilda. And the old men still utter a call But year after year Their number grows fewer Someday no one will 
march there at all. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who'll come waltzing Matilda with me? And their ghost may be heard as you pass by that billabong. Who'll come waltzing Matilda with me? I hope and I know I did a lot better and it makes me proud that I can dedicate that song to the universe's greatest father-in-law and my I'm proud that he's my father-in-law Jeff Smith all right we're gonna transition and uh, we're gonna do a couple from I didn't get done yesterday I've added one new one today and uh, I'm going to have to get another drink of water. That song, it requires so much of a voice <coughs> that through part of it, I was singing higher than I ever have, even on the lower key stuff, because I couldn't come down. It was weird, but it was great. Ugh. Anyways, um, this one... It's a great one because <clears throat> when I'm stressed out, I've got a uh, shortcut icon on my phone that goes straight to the Australian Poetry Library, and it goes straight to Banjo Patterson's page. Well, he wrote Clancy of the Overflow, and I did it yesterday, <clears throat> and I talked about this one. You see. He wrote another poem after that, and uh, <clears throat> if you've never heard of Banjo Patterson, you ought to go um, research him, read some of his stuff, all of his stuff. I read him and I calm down, you know, I enjoy it. But he wrote a second poem after Clancy of the Overflow, brought Clancy into it. Well, they, uh, Slim Dusty, uh, an Australian country singer, and he's very orca, which, in my accent, I can sense that I'm quite a bit orca. Um, and if you don't know what it means, just go look up Slim Dusty and listen to him sing. You'll understand. It's kind of like in uh, how in bluegrass they tell you, don't sing through your nose. Because you're going to sound like this. Well, imagine this in bluegrass with a deeper Australian accent. And you, you'll understand. Just go to listen to him. But he turned this one as well into a song. Then in the 80s, Disney came along, heard either the song or the poem, and went, movie idea. There's been a whole cast and slew of shows and stuff. If you've ever seen the movie Australia with Hugh Jackman, the man playing the old drunk is Jack... Thompson, Thomason, something. I can't ever remember his last name. But uh, he's teaching the little boy how to play the harmonica. Well, he played Clancy in the Disney movie years ago, back in the early 80s, using the same name as the poem and the song. It was a great movie. It was called The Man from Snowy River. And there is a scene, and I've seen a YouTube video discussing that movie, and they call it the most iconic scene ever. Clancy of the Overflow was a, based on, loosely based on a man that Mr. Patterson had known. But in the movie, at the dinner table, there's Harrison 